Tiffany Ellis. The carnival celebration culminates this weekend in Kingston with the Bacchanal Road March. But before that, Soka lovers celebrated the season in a dirty, dirty way. Our E! News package begins right now. On Stage Reviews is brought to you by Pizza Hut. Dirty Mass is what we're talking about. And as is customary, the Dirty Masquerade started on the North Coast last Saturday. Based on how I look right now, I don't have to say much. It's paint, soca, madness, Bunchy Carlin, Fay and Lions. It's Beach Juve here at James Bond Beach in St. Mary, and it's pure madness. The first couple of soca. Delivered a fantastic per um, performance, and we're really happy for that. You know what I mean? Everybody's saying to me tonight that this is the best beach juve, the best man of beach juve they have ever they have ever been. The usual thousands flooded the beach and were by all means on their worst behavior. It's nice to go out and perform for people that don't know who you are, don't know your music. And, and you're really, that's how you really spread the message of your music out. But it's also nice, it's a joy to come back home and see your familiar West Indian faces in the crowd. Just really appreciating everything that you're doing. You know, we always enjoy the moment. We always enjoy this time, especially this time. Then on Thursday, it was over to the Lime Golf Academy for more mayhem. Second year, Shaggy and Michelle Montano have brought pandemonium to Jamaica, and this one is expected to fog up the place. Energetic performances from Soka Monarch 2014, Michelle Montano. The roly poly boss, Mr. Killer. Shaggy. Patrice Robert. And the farmer nappy. The show the world how we just do it. We do it hard with a turn down, you know. They say turn down for music, but we turn down for nothing, we turn up for everything. The pandemonium still has a far way to go in terms of patronage, but had all the energy that the name of the event connotes. It's a building process. Last year was the first stage in, second stage in. But you do see it out there, you see the energy, you see that people really enjoy it, you see that it's Marshall, Montana and Shaggy and people are out there, these fans are out there and they're feeling it, so we'll keep, we'll keep it going, you know, next, next year again. Over the Easter weekend in Negril, Let's go. for the third year in a row, promoters provided a great escape. We're ready for This is the third year. Great Escape Easter weekend, right? Compared to last year and the year before, this is really more than awesome, right? We can ask for nothing more than what we have got this year. It's a great escape, you know, some boy are talking about party, them they are party, and try one. Seven events, four days, three nights. Great Escape load! Some events didn't work as well as others. But the organizers are affirming that the Great Escape is intact and will return. And it's here it's to stay. Ribby Chong is one of those persons Jamaicans would call a big man in the business. Well, last Thursday, the big man celebrated what he is calling his 35th birthday with friends and well-wishers at his spot inside the Acropolis, Barbican. Being 35 today is wonderful. It's been a pleasure to have friends here tonight at Ribby's Ultra Lounge and we'll be celebrating. It's all about celebration, celebration of life right here at Ribby's Ultra Lounge. Lady Renee's weekly comedy series is back under the name Jamaica Mequila. Just come on out. Comedy, music, food galore, the only and first of its kind in Jamaica. Proudly so, for Jamaica, by Jamaica, Jamaica Mequila. Everybody wants to feel good, so come on out and on a budget. Starting Tuesday, April 29th at a new venue, the Countryside Club in Kingston. The demand is very clear. The demand is very prominent and I aim to please. So again, Jamaica make we laugh. Second season, your vibes being later in here, bringing it proudly to you. Again, DeMarco, Lane Smith, Twin Twins, hosted by Pretty Boy Floyd. All you can eat food for just a manly $1,000 at the gate. Countryside Club, April 29th, 7 o'clock, showtime. I mean, who knows who you'll see on that stage? It could be Pretty yeah. Boy Floyd, it could be... 
twin of twins, it could be, I don't know, who, who else? It could be Jason. <laughs> Malako, you asked a question there, eh? so indirectly kind of nudge me in the direction to highlight the fact that Jason will be on stage at Jamaica Make Me Laugh very soon. And in the midst of the Soka Weekend in Jamaica, Young Rollers Entertainment is thinking outside the box, eccentric to be exact, with a black tie edition at the quad. Music by ZJ Wawa, all 18 years and older, are invited. And here now are our so good moments for this week. Well, that brings us to the end of E! News and Reviews for this week. Winford, what do you have for us? Tiffany, thank you so much. But I have a question before I tell you what, what's in the package this week. Sure. Why is Aishana in search of love after a big public announcement last year that she was going hmm. to marry the love of her life? Right? Hmm, that's a very good question. I'd love to hear. The answer is coming up right here on stage later. Also coming up. After being hailed one of Dan Soul's hottest new arrivals, where is Cargo these days? Hmm. He'll be here to answer. And the biggest names in Soka, right here on stage as Carnival Climaxes in Jamaica this weekend. All coming up. But first, video stage after the break. <laughs> Yeah, then can go round the team Them a try if 